Hey guys, Family here today and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. I did a video on this about two months ago and th at the time there were many, many requests for me to do a series on this. So I thought I would test the waters and do a series, see how the views are, see if you guys do indeed enjoy a series or you were just full of hot air. Um, so let's find out together, I guess. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. All right, yep, all right. We, we know all this, but we, we played through this first part in the previous video, but again, I'm, I'm gonna start a new company just because this is, if this is gonna be the start of the series, we definitely want a new company. Flabaliki Incorporated, awesome. Player name is gonna be James. Uh, I'm just gonna go around, close my eyes, that'll do. Close my eyes, that'll do. Oh, is that the D? Isn't that what it started off in Diva? Okay, close my eyes. And that one, no, close my eyes. Okay, no, no, no. I just, I just want something different. Let's go that one. That guy's cool. <laughs> uh, is there an orange? There's no orange, is there? I'm all about the orange. Maybe go, go orange hair. Because uh, then it's like it's like my channel colors. I got an orange channel color. I'm all about the orange. Let's go orange and green. He's pretty cool. Uh, uh, would uh, previously gain in it? No. I don't. I didn't read that properly. But uh, yeah. All right. Thanks. Achievement. Don't really care about that. Now, how do I how do I do this? Okay. <laughs> oh no, I thought what didn't I turn off? Uh, tutorial go away. All right, game number one is going to be attack of the uh, keyboard. Awesome. Pick a topic. It is going to be a fantasy uh, RPG. Yeah, definitely. Let's go on the let's go. PC just because it's much much cheaper. Uh, oh, no, let's go. Let's go text based. It's our first game, so let's keep it simple. Keep it simple on text based. Here we go. All right, thanks game. Yep. Let's uh, forget about that. Uh, engine. Nah, forget about engine. You you want it all about the stories and quest. A little bit about gameplay. Engine. It's text based. Doesn't have to be that great. So let's focus on our story. And our. No. Oh, okay. No, thanks, tutorial. I don't know what I was going to say. I completely stopped mid-sentence. Forgot what I was saying. Uh, story, quests, and... Was it technology? I don't know what the hell we're doing. Dialogue has got to be good. Got to be really good. Level design while it's text. So, a little bit of AI. There we go. This is going to be a 10 out of 10 game. Our first game. I wonder if that's even actually possible to get... A 10 out of 10. Do you guys know if it's possible to get a 10 out of 10 on your first game? Because that'd be... Alright, tutorial. I thought... I chose not to do that. Obviously, I chose to do it. Um, world design. Well, graphics is a text-based game, so let's keep that down. Sounds can be up a little bit. World design as well. All right. Hey, guys. This is going to be top-notch. Got 47,000 cash. I, I don't know where the other, you know, 23,000 went. I, I guess we just pissed away that money somehow making a text-based game. We pissed away $23,000. Oh, Jesus. Uh, all right. Thanks, game. All right, let's wait till those bugs are gone. And let's finish that off. All right, yep, I know, I know. Thank you. Just skipping those. Oh! <gasps> so good. Look at all that leveling up. And I release again. Oh, okay. Now I'm getting achievements again. Maybe I should... Ah, <laughs> oh, tutorial. New stuff. All right, so that game is... Getting our reviews. Here comes our review. 10 out of 10. 10 out of... I saw a few 10. 6. That's okay. Let's get a 7. No, 6. 7. No, this is going to be lower. 5. I mean, to be fair, it's pretty good for our first text-based game. I like it. All games. Okay. Yep. I'm not reading any of those. Um. Jeez. Oh, okay. Thank you, news. All right. Uh. Let's go with... Research? Can we can we actually research anything yet? Oh, all right, thank you. Uh, new topic: uh, custom engine. Maybe we'll just save up for the custom engine. There's no point to develop. Oh, not develop. Research a new topic. All right, that was attack of the keyboard. Return of the. <laughs> I was gonna do keyboard again, but like I'm so bad at names. All I had to do, all I was doing, is looking down at my desk and I'm like, oh, there's a keyboard there. Fantastic. Let's use that. Return of the um, cat. There you go. It's going to be a dungeon. Oh god, okay, no. Return of the slime. There, it's going to be a dungeon adventure uh, on the PC because it's cheaper. All right, uh, 2D. We're going to we're going to try our hand at 2D graphics here. We're going to go all out in graphics. Uh, number 66 in the charts. That's pretty good. Well, not really, but 
Okay, thank you. Thank you, game, for all the billions of pop-ups. Engine. This is, we want this to be solid. Gameplay was the other one I was thinking of. Stories, quest, and gameplay. Uh, gameplay should be pretty good. Oh, you don't really need a story about Attack of the Dungeon, right? Uh, yeah, let's, keep, let's get gameplay. Gameplay is going to be king and graphics. Gameplay and graphics! That's what it's all about. Uh, cool. Here we go. Look at, look at that sale. At least we've turned a profit. We, we turn a profit. We're, we're above $70,000, which is good. Yep. All right. All time sales record of 10,000. That's pretty good for just a random dude putting out a game. Uh, dialogue? Nah, no, screw dialogue. We're going to go level design, artificial intelligence. This is all about the adventure, which I guess probably should have some good story, but you know, you know, you're supposed to be going through a dungeon. It's going to be awesome. Graphics! Well designed. Well designed should be pretty good too. That's involved in graphics. Ah, uh, sound. Ah, we don't really care about sound that much. Okay. Couple of bugs though. Uh, probably all those 2D graphics that he's working. Oh, a little bit of a ding. Get those bugs out. Let's see if we can. Uh, do you want to see if we can boost it up a little bit? We're still making money, so let's see if we can get a little bit more design, a little bit more tech in there. It's off the market. That's pretty good. Ninety-six thousand in sales. Uh, need a little bit more technology. No, finishing. All right, we'll finish it there. This is most definitely a ten out of ten. New record on the technology. Oh, that is awesome. Release the game. And what did we get? Hello? There it is. <laughs> Alright. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yep. Uh, well, people don't like adventure games with slimes and dungeons. Don't like a dungeon adventure game. Um, well, let's do a uh, alien. Uh... Action Alien game, that makes sense, right? On the PC. It's going to be called... Uh, Invader... Jim. <laughs> Again, getting uh, getting really creative with my names right there. Uh, it's not going to be text-based. Let's go, let's go graphics. Let's, maybe we won't push the graphics so hard this time, because clearly that did not work. Uh, stories and quests. Oh, no, it's an action. It's an action game. You don't really need story, do you? Let's go. Let's try and get gameplay up there. Let's boost gameplay to the max. Sort of focus on that a little bit more. This is not going to set an all-time sales record, that is for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, alright, I don't care about it. I'm not going to develop for the G64 because there's just no point. It's just going to die out in a few years. The PC never dies out, so then people can play my PC games in a million years' time. Uh, artificial intelligence in action would probably be good. Level design. Yeah, di I guess it's the same thing here. Let's keep the dialogue down. Uh, artificial intelligence. I spend the most time on that. Uh, I'm hoping to um, get a good game, at least in this first video here. Of <laughs> All right, so right action. Let's get sound up. Get the sound right up. Graphics can take a little bit of a hit. Uh, let's see if we can get sound design. Sound design is going to be through the roof here. He is one uh, one man working to a. Oh, that, that's going to be a new, new technology record though. That's good. I don't know if it's a new design record. Let's see if we can get a little bit more design. A little bit, oh, another bug. Another, a bit more technology. All right, so after after we release this game as well, we'll have enough research points to do our own engine, which should be good. All right, finish that before we get any more bugs. 14 design points. Um, all right, I know there's other consoles and stuff to be released in the future. This game is actually really fun by the time you get to the end of this. I played it when it first came out. What, I don't know, a year and a half or something? I don't know, whenever it first came out, I played it like a madman, and getting to the, the the sort of final stages of the game or the late game is a lot of fun. It is it is a lot of fun. Uh, new record, new record. So this could either be a crap game, like it, it could just be a terrible release. But let's see. <laughs> it's off the market. That did not sell well. <laughs> Only thirty thousand sales. Almost back at square one with seventy-seven thousand. Oh, seven. All-time high though. Hey, one of the best. Here we go, this is what I'm talking about. Very good. Yeah, let's get a 10. No 10s, but that's pretty good. That should hopefully sell quite well. Uh, so we're gonna go, oh, well, hang on. Um, oh, I thought I, for some reason, I thought I got research points for that after I release a game. I guess not. Um, generate game report. Let's see, let's go Invader Zim. Oh, for Invader Zim. <laughs> well, I just said the uh, the complete wrong name. What is? What are you talking about, Invader Zim? I mean, Invader Jim, obviously. Contract work. I don't want to do contract work. I mean, I guess I could, because there's guaranteed money, but... Let's just do the report so we get a few more research points. Uh, there we go. 
Uh, aliens and action is a great combination. Graphics seem to be very important, type, uh, important for this type of game. Yeah, and you, uh, I mean, I figured as much. Uh, platform, genre match, action, PC. Good. Okay. Yeah, thank you, tutorial. Shut up. Um, let's go... What am I doing? Uh, research? Yeah, here we go. Custom game engine. Let's do that. Let's get underway. It's going to be the... Uh, oh, what to call it? What to call it? Names, names. The... Laugh engine one. Ah. Get it? Because there's another engine that's the opposite of laughing. It's cry engine. Ah. Um, I'm not going to call it laugh engine. That's a terrible name. <laughs> laugh engine one. All right. Uh, okay, now we've got to create an engine. I don't think I really... Oh, I have quite a lot of money. Let's create an engine. Okay. There's going to be uh, the... What can we call it? Because we're going to call every engine from this point forward the same name, but like Mark 1, Mark 2, or just no, 1, 2. Uh, so this is going to be, oh, I mean, if you guys come up with a better name, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. This is not set in stone. Uh, it's going to be the, oh, what to call it? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, hmm. Oh my god, I don't know. The... the, oh, the, the I don't know, Flavaliki. <laughs> Flavaliki. That's not even a good name. Oh, this is the worst part about this game, coming up with names. Why is there no randomized button for names? That should exist. Um, V8 engine. Okay, we're going to need a better name for that, so... <laughs> V8 engine. Rice is terrible. Uh, Ninety thousand dollars to create that with those crappy c components in it, but let's go for it. Maybe, maybe that'll help us for some reason. This is also going to take us a while to do, and then I've got to make a game, and we're not making any money, any money anymore. So maybe after this, we'll do some contract work just to raise a little bit of capital. Um. Oh, okay. All right. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Uh, okay. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Greenheart Games. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. All right, uh, 120,000, so we lose 8,000 every month, which months go by pretty quick, every few seconds, really. Not quite sure precisely how much. There we go. Uh, nice, V8 engine is complete. That's so dumb. Maybe we can get a V12 engine next. Um, nah, we got, we got money to develop our own game. This is going to be called... Um, let's see... Uh, Ravine? Is that how you spell Ravine? That doesn't look alright. How do you spell Ravine? Ravine? That doesn't look like Revine. I'm gonna go Revine a post on Vine. Um, <laughs> how do you spell Ravine? I'm gonna Google this real quick. <laughs> I don't know how to spell Ravine. Uh, Ravine. Is that how you spell it? Oh, it was. It was the, the first way I did it. Oh, okay. Um, Ravine... Uh, oh, what was the other word I was going to use? Ravine... Um, ravine Ranger? No. Ravine... No, let's go with Ranger. Um, that'll be fine, I guess. <laughs> it's going to be Dungeon. <laughs> I was going to... I was trying to think of a better word for Defender. With an R. I guess I settled on Ranger. Uh, it's going to be a... Here we go. RPG? No, don't do an RPG. Let's not do that. Let's go fantasy RPG. Is that what I did first time round? I think so. I don't. Want, I don't want to overuse something. Wait, is there a strategy we could do? A good strategy? No, let's just go fantasy RPG. All right, fantasy RPG. Uh, it's going to be on PC and it's going to be on the V8 engine, Ravine Ranger. Even though that's a that's a stupid name. 2D graphics, V2. Even better graphics. Here we go. This is going to sell well. We are almost below our starting uh, cost. Linear story. Save game. Uh, well, engine. I already made the engine. What do I need to do that for? Let's go stories and quests because it's an RPG. Uh, you want? You really want that role playing aspect. Okay, we're down to 60, 62,000. So I feel like I'm banking heavily on this game, but it's probably going to do terribly. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling is going to happen here. Uh... Some of these need to be really sort of quite even. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm investing everything into this game. 200, you 207 fans of mine. I'm hoping that you will make this game profitable for me.
Uh, well designed graphic or sound? Well, we got pretty good graphics. Let's bring sound down a little bit. Let's go well designed top, graphics metal and sound a little bit lower. This is gonna be a knockout. Is this a new record for design? I'm not quite sure. Test by Ninvento has been released. Well, good for you. I don't have money to develop for that because that will be expensive. Might research some new topics actually after this. Uh, can we get a little bit more out of design and technology? Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, you just made another bug, you idiot. Alright, mine is not, he's not doing anything else. Alright, let's say that. Uh, that's pretty good. Level up on everything except for 2D graphics V2, but it's only because I just started on it. Release game! Doesn't mean it's a good game, even though we leveled up and everything. We now have game tutorials and mono sound, which I would have to develop a new engine for, and that ain't gonna happen. Alright, let's see. Let's see what the damage is. Oh, a few, few tens flashing up there. Oh, eight! That is good! Can we get a nine? No, oh, this one is not looking good. The first guy's star game. Oh, a few tens in there. So, it's not a great game, but it's not a bad game either. It's good enough. But you really need that one game that gives you like a billion dollars to get to the next stage. And that's what we're working towards. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and go research. Uh, uh, let's go to a new topic. Oh god, this is a terrible topic. Let's go horror. That would be pretty good, I guess. Yeah, start that. Uh, 5.6 thousand units. That's pretty good. 99,000. Oh, that's pretty good. That's a few sales. I'm not sure what our sales record is. I can't remember. Uh, well, I don't know what it is. Alright, let's go... Well, I can't really research anything else, can I? Develop a new game. Pick a topic. It is going to be horror. It is going to be... Well, it has to be a horror action, right? Can't really be... I guess it could be a horror adventure. It doesn't make any sense. Horror simulation? Maybe horror simulation. Um, it's dark out. There you go. Pick platform. Ha! <laughs> Screw you, Tess. Um, genre match action plus plus. Well, we're not doing action on PC. V8 engine. You know, because they're going to get that power behind it. <laughs> that raw power of the V8 engine. I gotta, I, I'm not going to lie. That's a pretty good engine name. <laughs> That's pretty awful though. Yeah, if you have any good engine names, leave them down in the comments. Or any good game names for that matter. Or good combinations or anything that kind of stuff. Um, stories and quests. Screw that. Let's go gameplay for sure. Engine. Save game. Yeah. Oh, no. Let's bring story up. Yeah, about that. Cool. Alright, let's do that. This is gonna be a good game, I can tell. This is gonna be out. This is gonna be out, out. This is gonna get us out of the garage, into our office. I highly doubt that, but you know, you gotta be confident. Uh, screw the dialogue. It's all about level design in horror games. You need the atmosphere. If you don't have the atmosphere, it's not gonna be horrifying, you know? Atmosphere, uh, like level design and sound design are really important in horror games, I gotta say. Um, local news. I'm Caroline... Riches from the local news. I've heard rumors that you're already working on your next game. I didn't even know interviews were a part of this game. Oh, okay. Just great. The interviews should be published in. Oh, okay. Well, thought I'd actually get to answer some questions, but you know. A local startup is trying to make it big in the gaming industry. The company's already published what game is working hard on the next. Okay. All right. Oh, hype level seven. We're getting hype. All right. Yeah, I know hype is important, but I didn't actually think we'd get that early from a tutorial. Uh, not tutorial. <laughs> From an interview, what am I talking about? Alright, so, um, well designed, well, sound design for sure. Graphics, not so much. Graphics don't have to be that great. Well design could be pretty good, but we're gonna get sound design. Uh, sound design, push it on the sound, make a scary sound. This game is not looking good in terms of design and technology. Not a very high point system here we got going on. Pretty low. But we're not done. Um, 17,000 in sales, not bad, but we are still not doing great for cash. I mean, we're not broke, but 81.5 thousand is not great. Um, we've got Hype 11 for this, so even though it might not be the best game, and it's definitely not the best game in terms of design and technology, it could still do well, a unless it's a terrible game and rates 1, then we'll find out. <laughs> oh, it's a few good... Not bad, not bad. I'm, I'm alright with that. We, I'm glad, we haven't really had, I mean, we had a pretty average game before, but we haven't really had a, a terrible flop yet. Which is good. Quirky but good. Shows potential. Well, you know, that's good enough for me, so I don't care. Let's do a little bit of research. Uh, let's get a uh, new topic. Detective. 
God, these are, these are all terrible. Who wants a law game? What even is a law game? That sounds awful. Let's go for a detective game. Let's make L.A. Noir before it was even invented. Let's make that. It's going to be an awesome game. But let's not go bankrupt. Oh, not bankrupt. Let's not go... Was they bank I don't even know what happened to Team Bondi. I, that, that was a mess, of a, a mess of a company. And it kind of sucks because it was Australian as well. Uh, anyways, develop new game. L.A. Uh, yes... Oh, yes sir. It just looks like yes sir. <laughs> I was just trying to give because it's like, it's LA no uh Noir, get it? Yes, yes sir. It doesn't really make sense, but you know, bear with me. Uh, all right, so it's going to be a detective. Ugh, it's not an RPG. What would you call it? Simulation? Adventure? Action? It's definitely not action. Oh, maybe RPG. That's probably detective RPG. That sounds like it'd be a terrible combination. Let's go detective simulation because I think in the terms of this game, game dev talking, I'll probably like that better. Uh, let's just go PC because I'm always going to go on PC. LA, yes sir! <laughs> Stupid name. Let's get that out. Let's get that out on the street. Make a little bit of money. Show me the money. Uh, so if you're doing a simulation, your engine definitely wants to be up there. And probably gameplay as well. Story and quest can come down a little bit. Screw story and quests. Let's get this simulation right out there. Okay. Yeah, good, good, for, good for the test. I don't care about the test. I'm all about the PC. Probably should explore other markets though, just to make more money. <laughs> uh, dialogue. Uh, no, actually no, it's a simulation. Let's not, let's not do that. So artificial intelligence is going to be quite high. Let's push it on the simulation. Uh, design of tech, not that high. Uh, unless we can get a, bump it up a little bit more in this last stage. All right, well designed graphics. It's a simulation, so maybe well design. I don't know. Like it's, this is absolutely a complete guessing game for me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. 13, 14, 15. That could be a record. I'm not sure. Uh, sold 13,200 units. Get rid of the bugs. Can we get a little bit more technology in there? I would like. Oh, that's just another bug, bro. Oh, there we go. A little bit of technology. Finish that off. 15 and 13. New record on both. Awesome. That's what I like to see. Level up on 2D graphics V2. Alright, let's see if this was any good. I, I honestly don't have the high hopes for this because, I don't know, it seems like a weird combination, but let's see. This could be the big hit! No, again, we just I just keep pumping out the average games. There's nothing... There's nothing great about these. 7, 7, 8. That's pretty good. And a 9. Not bad, but not fantastic, is it? Uh, let's see if we can research... I mean, I should I should research these both of these things at some point. Um, I'll start research on that then, I guess. Get the mono sound. Um, LA, yes sir. Yes sir. Is really, I guess, how it's supposed to be said. Stupid name. Mono sound. Well, I mean, researching mono sound isn't very helpful because... You just research your first engine part. You need to create a new engine. Well, I'm not going to create a new engine because... That's just going to take me time. Uh, pri oh, a prison game. We can make prison architect. Let's do that. Uh, what will they develop next? I don't know. Hopefully, all right. Hopefully, I mean, I really should be reading some of these things because they do, <laughs> they do tell me what I should do. Uh, target audience, you say. Um, yeah, I should probably read some of those things because they will say sort of what the current trends are. But you know, I'm much more about doing my own thing. I don't follow the market trends. That's lame. Uh, let's not generate a game report. I don't care about that right now. Uh, so let's go prison. Uh, simulation. Uh, prison. Strategy? Really need a category that says tycoon right here. Uh, <laughs> strategy prison game. Oh, that's... Why are there no good categories? <laughs> Oh, I've got like no good topics. I mean, I guess fantasy is always your, your default sort of go-to fantasy RPG. Um, 80,000 for a license. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for a test license. The V8 engine. This is going to be... The, le oh, the Legend of... Um... Hmm. The Legend of... Uh... 
I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of a a good alternate to Zelda. Uh, <laughs> Legend of uh, I don't know. There's I I really wish I could have thought of something funny really quick there because it would have made this much better. The Legend of um uh Oh my god. Oh my god. Why? Why is this so hard? Why? Why? I I can't, I've just lost all power of thought right now. Ah, oh, the legend of Jim. All right, what is it? Oh, okay. Yep, there you go. Writer's block. Thanks for that. Yep, naming games is difficult. Well, if you guys added in a freaking randomized button, I wouldn't be getting that achievement. Two D graphics. This is gonna be an expensive game, and it's probably gonna turn out really crap too. The legend of Jim. I mean, like, how pathetic is that? Ah, uh, fantasy RPG. Get the stories and quests up there. Probably a little bit higher than gameplay, to be perfectly honest. There we go. Um, okay, yeah, so let's get this out in the test before it's not popular anymore as well. That'd be great. Uh, Alright, so dialogue for sure. Artificial intelligence, level design. Let's see, these all should be popular. Also, I don't understand how this system works. Like, if I do this, like, with all the bars at the bottom, is that the same as doing this? So confusing. Uh, I, I assume it is that that's how I'm working this system. I assume I'm assuming that this position here with them all on the bottom is the same as this position here. That's what I'm assuming. I don't know how, how correct that is. Um, well, see, level design should be pretty good. Uh, well, all, let's just go equal. Let's go equal on all three of those things. So I think they're all quite important to a RPG. As, as much as I know about RPGs, I think they're very important to, to RPGs. Um, Alright, world design, graphics, and sound. Let's go, let's push the graphics, because... I think we're gonna... Graphics and sound, world design can take a little, little bit of a hit. So our record for design was 15. So we've just broken that. Technology was 13, so again, we've just broken that. So this is looking like a pretty good game. Pretty cutting-edge game on the test. So this could be good. Um, yep, two new records. I knew that was going to happen. But is that actually going to be a good game? Uh, yep, Vina has confirmed rumors about a new gaming console announced the Master V. Alright, good for the Master V. Well, let's get this out in the test before that happens. The Legend of Jim. Eight, that's good. I'm happy with that. This one is not looking as good. Seven, it's beautiful. Well, there's no doubt about that. Good graphics. Nine, great game. And seven. So eight, seven, nine, seven. Uh, it's not, not bad. It's again not great. Like I just not got that smash hit yet. It's not so it's not, I guess that's pretty good actually. Fourteen thousand units in the first week. Uh research. Let's go ahead and research target audience. I don't have enough free research points. Okay, well let's generate a game report, that'd be a good idea. Uh Legend of Jim, let's do that. Because that'll just get us a few research points. Oh wow, that sold really good really well, like the second week as well. Oh, not the third week though. Fell flat on its face in the third week. Um, okay, fantasy and RPG is a great combi combination. We knew that level design seems to be quite important with this type of game. Uh, platform, genre match, RPG, test. Okay, I guess it's better on PC. Uh, very positive views. Hmm. They might become a new fan favorite. We still only have 802 fans. Isn't that what we had before? Or No, that was like 200 fans. Never mind. Never mind, that made no sense what I just said. Uh, 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 research, target audience. Let's do that. That'll be a good idea. We've got a little bit of money here that we can uh, spend on stuff. Yeah, new record, 50,000 units sold. We had a little bit of a boost there. That was probably when that sort of article came out, I guess. A little bit of a boost there as well, because we had a, I guess, sales record. So everyone's like, ooh, there's a game. Target audience. Uh, all right, develop new game. Yeah, I know, I know the target audience thing. Thank you. Alright, this is gonna be, well, let's fi fi figure out what our topic's gonna be. This is gonna be a cyberpunk. Uh, action, uh, no, it'll be cyberpunk. I, I don't know what that, what the hell is cyberpunk? Um, 38.5% market share. So let's go with this one, because we do have a license for it. This is gonna be a young, everyone, mature. Let's go everyone. Let's go young. Let's aim it at young audience. Um, this can be happy uh, fan friends. There you go. 
on the V8 engine. We should probably make a new engine at some point too, after we research a few more things. After this game, we might do a, a little bit more engine research, or research for things for the engine, rather. Uh, so this is a cyberpunk action, so I guess we're going to go screw the story. Gameplay and engine. Let's see how we go with that. A little bit of research going on there, very nice. That's pretty good, 64,000 units sold. Ah, Master V by Vina has been uh, released. Okay, uh, Cyberpunk action. Dialogues, artificial intelligence, for sure. Oop, did not, I don't know why I'm doing that. Don't know why I was clicking there, actually. I was like, for some reason I was like clicking to speed it up or something. I don't, I don't even know. What, like, what would that even do? Um, that was just telling me about, yeah. Okay, so... I should probably have read that, because I didn't actually know about that. What, is, what does this mean? Plus, 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 question mark. Uh... Also, what does that mean? I don't know what's going on here. Uh... God damn. God damn. Should have read that. Uh, alright, well, anyway, Cyberpunk action. What do I think? Probably... All of these are pretty important. Maybe we'll take world design down there. It's about graphics and sound. Kids like graphics and sound. This is for a young audience anyways. Uh, kids are all about the, the test, so... Let's see how this goes. Uh, let's not finish it yet. That... Ooh, that's started the market worldwide. I say the console is not very well marketed in North America, but it will flourish in other parts of the world. Well, good for those parts of the world, but let's get rid of those bugs. Get a little bit more design, a little bit more tech. There you go, a little bit more tech. And release, 19 and 19. Double new records, new topic, new combo, 1.5 bonus, release the game. This is going to be our big hit, right? Uh, oh, maybe not. Uh, six? Not bad, but this one's looking pretty low. Oh, again, just another powerfully average game released by Flabaliki Inc. <laughs> Although the eight is pretty promising. I don't know why those guys gave it an eight, but it's not terrible, but... It really is not great. Alright, let's go uh, research uh, game tutorials. For sure, let's research that for the engine. See how we go. So we're year three. We have got money in the bank, which is good. Which is definitely a good thing. Uh, good to see. Uh, research game tutorials. Anything else? Oh no, I don't have enough research ones. Alright, develop new game. Nope. What am I saying? Uh, create custom engine. Game tutorials and that. This is gonna be uh, V. I really should have started with V6, a V6 engine, V12 engine. There you go. And then, uh, yeah, leave better suggestions for engine names in the comments down below. So we actually have some good engine names because engine engine is the cool thing, you know. You can give them a sick name. Um, Get those 2D graphics in there. Get that linear story in the engine. As if you, as if you couldn't just like, ad like modify your existing engine. Like half of this stuff already exists in the original engine. As if I couldn't just add on the new things. That makes no sense. Um, that's pretty good. It's not great though. Casual games. Alrighty. Well, I guess we can research that after this. We got a little bit of money in the bank, so we got we got a little bit of time to sort of. Um, the company has been unsuccessful in introducing higher priced computers to compete against newer, more advanced PCs. Cool. Uh, 100k engine. Invest 100k in a new engine. See, I've got all these achievements before, so I don't really know why this game is doing it again. Alright. Let's go for research, uh, casual games. Oh, it's, uh, 20 research points. Never mind. Let's research a new topic, though, if we can. Uh, alternate history. Oh my god. Why are these categories so bad? Like, I know this, it just randomly puts them in, but these are not great. Uh, let's go with... Let's go a lore game. Because, you know... Let's do a lore RPG. <laughs> you're a lawyer. Oh, you're a lawyer trying to make it in the uh, in Wall Street. <gasps> we could call it Wall Street... Something. I don't know. I've, I've met, like, mind blanks constantly. Develop a new game. Uh, Wall Street... Street Dirt Wall. Let's actually go Wall Street um, Simulator. Wall Street Simulator. It's going to be for everyone. It's going to be a law simulation. Oh no, that's not a simulation. Let's make it a, a, a law RPG. Yeah. Because you got to level up. Uh, 
26.8. PC, 22 is still good. Uh, a V12 engine for sure. Um, although it said action is pretty good on the PC there, so maybe we'll make it a law action. No, 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 that doesn't make any sense. But, and then, in, in the mind of this game, I'm trying to think, would it like a law RPG? And I think the answer is no. I think a law simulation would make sense. And also we're calling it Wall Street Simulator, so... Let's do that. <laughs> 2D graphics of V2. Okay. Let's start Wall Street Simulator. Game tutorials, for sure. Let's put on a tutorial. Um, it's a simulation. It doesn't really need stories or quests, does it? I don't know. I don't know. Engine. Let's get the engine up. I think engine's more important here. Ah... <sighs> This is gonna be this is gonna be the final game of this video, and if this isn't a smash hit, then I quit. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. If this isn't a smash hit, then we'll continue next episode. It, 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 and if it is a smash hit, we'll continue next episode as well. It won't make any difference uh, whether or not we continue, because we will be. Unless this video gets no views and a billion dislikes, and in which case we won't continue next episode. Uh, <laughs> let's get a level design. Design. Let's see. So we had a what was it record of nineteen on these? I think maybe because I don't think we're gonna anywhere near those. Mono sound. Woo! So what what is basic sound? Is that just like I guess default system? Bing. And this is actual sounds so you can put in the game. World design graphics. Yeah, screw world design. That looks pretty good. Get that sound design right up there. Uh, technology and design don't look like they're gonna get that high. 17 and 15, it's okay, but it's not, it's not no record by any means. Do you want to see if you can push that a little bit further, buddy? Yeah, there you go, buddy. A little bit more design. No, that's it. <laughs> Alright. No new records there. New topic combo, though. Few level ups. Very nice. Release the game. Uh, Alright. Thank you, Ninvento. Oh, damn it. New research available. We just I just made a game engine and now there's 3D graphics and 2D graphics V3. Damn it. <laughs> oh well. Uh this is gonna be our smash oh. Is it another another powerfully average game? I mean, to be fair, a law simulator. That's pretty good ratings for a law simulator. Jesus, who is gonna be playing that? Oh my god. Alright, let's go um, research casual games. Oh my god, 2D Graphics V3, 80 research points. Better user experience. I like the sound of that. Let's do that one. Uh, anyways, I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, so name suggestions for games and uh, and engines, leave it down below. Uh, definitely incorporate that in the next episode. Uh, and, then, and any other suggestions, leave them down below. And I will see you next time. And have an awesome day.